Good morning, students. Today we learn how to plot a distance-time graph. For that, first of all, you need a graph paper. You all have seen that a graph paper consists of squares of one centimeter each. And what you have to do is you have to draw a vertical line, a vertical line that is O Y. Okay. that is at the left end of the graph paper on the left side of the graph paper and then you have to draw a horizontal line that is ox and oy is known that is the point of intersection this line the oy and the point of intersection of ox what is it this is the point of intersection is the o so usually on the x axis we represent the independent quantity the independent quantity is represented on the x axis and the dependent quantity is shown on the y axis now here one example is given that is you can see here that there is a table is given a tabular representation of distance traveled by a car in a hilly terrain now here the time is given and the reading on the odometer i hope children you remember what is an odometer odometer is the instrument used to measure the distance traveled by a vehicle so the time is given here that is it's given in every 10 minutes 0 10 20 30 40 okay and how much distance is traveling that also is given here on the table so now we'll see how to plot a distance time graph using this now here see it is given here is your graph paper and as i told you you have to draw x axis on the x axis will show the time traveled by the vehicle and on the y axis we will mention the distance the distance that that vehicle is covering so here the table i have made the table here see the first one was the time was zero okay that means it has not yet started so when the vehicle had not started it was 1200 kilometers okay so now you can see here at zero it is 1200 km so here we have taken the intervals of 5 kilometers okay 1200 then 1205 210 15 Twenty. So we have taken here five kilometers, and here the time is we have taken ten minutes, a gap of ten minutes. Now, as the according to the table, we'll plot the graph as given in the table. Okay. So when the time was zero minutes, or it was at twelve hundred, that means it has not yet started moving. Then ten minutes. it traveled a distance of 1202 so here you have got 10 minutes and here it is 1205 so you will count the number of lines and here you will wherever you are getting 1202 that is here we are getting so we'll mark a dot here then next on the after 20 minutes it traveled a distance of 1209 kilometers now we come to 20 minutes okay here so we will join from here 20 meters and it has traveled 1210 kilometers so here we have marked okay then the, in the same way the next one is in 30 minutes that is after 30 minutes it has traveled 1214 so here also this is 30 minutes and here is given 1215 so we can mark like this 
it will be just below it's one two one five we have written here now so just below that line so we'll mark a dot here one two one four so this is one thousand two hundred and fourteen then after forty minutes it has traveled one thousand two hundred and sixteen okay it is given one thousand two hundred and sixteen so again it will be on top of one two one five so again we'll mark so this way we'll keep on marking the dots and once we have marked all the dots what we will do is we will join it using a line okay see we have joined it so now you can see that this is a zigzag line graph okay a zigzag line graph which is showing the movement of a car covering 25 kilometers in a hilly terrain now another one is given a uh, one more graph is given here you can see that the distance time graph is that is it is a straight line so whenever there is a straight line this indicates that the particular vehicle is moving with a uniform speed you can see here that after 10 minutes it covered a distance of 5 kilometers after 20 minutes it has covered a distance of 10 kilometers then after 30 minutes it is covering a distance of 15 kilometers so that means at regular intervals of time this vehicle is covering regular interval of distance that is equal interval of time it is covering equal distances so that is why we have got a straight line so a straight line indicates that the vehicle is moving with a uniform speed whereas if it is a zigzag line or a curved line if it would have been a curved line somewhat like this so what does it in indicate it indicates that the particular vehicle is moving with non uniform speed that is it is covering unequal distances in equal interval of time the time is equal but it is covering unequal distances okay unequal distances so this is a non uniform motion then there may be some graph which show like this okay now whenever there is a straight line like this straight line okay this shows that the particular vehicle is not moving that is it is stationary why it is stationary see children you can see the time is moving okay it is 15 uh, this here it is given in seconds 15 seconds then 20 seconds then 25 seconds the time is passing but the vehicle is still here that means the vehicle is not moving it is stationary clear if the vehicle would have been moving what would have happened this line would have gone either up straight or down or any way zigzag any motion okay but since this is a uh, parallel line so whenever there is a line which is parallel to the x axis what does this indicate a parallel line uh, to the x axis always indicates that the vehicle is stationary i hope children that this is clear to everyone with this we have completed with the chapter so if you have any doubt you can contact me on my personal number thank you